welcome. I am Maria Sole Scollo, one of the members of Guard Cyber Security Team. In this video, I will cover ways how to harden your networks. Network hardening is the process of securing a network by reducing its potential vulnerabilities through configuration changes and taking specific steps. So, let's see what these steps are. Traffic monitoring, router configuration, network segmentation, firewall installation, enabling wireless security, using secure protocols, updating software and hardware. A very important component of network security is monitoring and analyzing traffic on your network, because in order to know what unusual or potential attack traffic looks like, you need to know what normal traffic looks like. You can do this through network traffic monitoring and log analysis. This will highlight potential intrusions, signs of malware infections or a typical behavior. You'd want to analyze things like firewall logs, authentication server logs and application logs. It's important to configure router appropriately with access control list like anti-spoofing filters and other. Networks would be much safer if you disable access to network services that aren't needed and enforce access restrictions. Implicit deny is a network security concept where anything not explicitly permitted or allowed should be denied. Instead of requiring you to block all traffic you don't want, you can just create rules for traffic that you need to go through. This is a much more secure configuration. The first line of defense should involve the firewall between the network and the internet. Other options include the use of network address translation and access control list. Authorized remote access should be enabled through the use of secure tunnels and virtual private networks. Here is a diagram how to segment the network into separate subnets, applying in relation to the context the more rigorous policies. A DMZ subnet exposed to the internet with DNS, web server, mail server, a Wi-Fi access point protected by a firewall, and some private subnets behind the firewall with a function, a subnet for management and administration, a subnet for didactics and laboratories, a subnet for students and guests by OD, a subnet for IoT devices and printers. Wireless networks must be configured to highest available security level, so use the strongest encryption protocol available. Change the router's default administrator password. Change the default service set identifier. Disable Wi-Fi protected setup. Reduce wireless signal strength. Turn the network off when not in use. Disable universal plug and play when not needed. Keep all router and network devices updated to the latest firmware version. Disable remote management. Monitor for unknown device connections. Network security protocols are used to protect computer data and communication in transit. Some of the popular network security protocols include Secure File Transfer Protocol, Secure Hypertext Transfer Protocol, Transport Layer Security. An important part of network hardening involves an ongoing process of ensuring that all networking software together with the firmware in routers are updated with the latest vendor supplied patches and fixes. When we talk about securing network, an important component is securing the data center that the network resides in. Hacking into network system is not the only way that sensitive information can be stolen or used against an organization. Physical security must be implemented correctly to prevent attackers from gaining physical access and take what they want. All the firewalls, cryptography and other security measures would be useless if that were to occur. Keep your server and other equipment in its own dedicated room. Make sure to keep that room locked whenever it's not in use and limit access to a small number of people who need the key. Thanks everyone!